Welcome to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott, and we're going to talk about love today. Love. Love everybody. Hey. A lot of you are woke individuals, and you spread your wokeness through the YouTube comments. <laughs> no, you don't. I know you're great people. You spread cheer all around the world and throughout your daily lives. I get it. You're amazing. Why are you amazing? Because you're watching this video. <laughs> but I want to talk about something I saw yesterday. It was just a guy walking down the street. He was at a protest that I, I walked by and his t-shirt said, love everyone. And I said, oh, that's nice, but it's also complete bull****. See, what's helped me in my mental health a lot, a lot, is taking the pressure off myself to, to constantly be in a state of positivity and being upbeat and being energetic and being go, 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 love, 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 be excited, spread positivity, no matter what comes at me at life, because life is like you get kicked in the balls here, you get punched in the tit there. It's a lot of pain coming at you. And every single thing that happens in life, I can't be happy about. Again, maybe I'm not as woke as you are, but what's helped me a lot in mental health is to say that life does suck and I can't love everyone. There are people that I don't associate with, and I know that there's pure evil in the world. It's a lot of pressure. It's like taking the role of God, if you believe in that sort of thing. But let's just say the image of God is basically to love unconditionally, no matter what. And as imperfect human beings, that's very, very difficult to do. I don't know if a lot of you would sacrifice your own life for Barabbas. You know what I mean? Jesus quote. But I think to, to, to really put that pressure on ourselves and to say, love everyone, that, that takes its toll. I think it does. And I don't think you should feel like you need to do that. Actually, I'll just go back to myself. I feel like I don't need to do that. I can make a difference in my small community. I can spread some positivity, some new ideas through this medium. medium. But at the end of the day, I can't feel like it's my responsibility to love every single person that I don't know. So the t-shirt that this guy had was, was love everyone. And I say, that's a great philosophy. But in reality, life sucks a lot. You're getting punched left and right by people. And I just can't spread that love. You know, the hashtag love wins usually comes after some kind of unfortunate event in uh, whether it be some kind of shooting, some tragic event. And it's hashtag love wins. And I, I totally disagree with that, unfortunately. And that's not to say it's, a, it's negative. I'm not going out there spreading negativity or that love sucks. Or like, remember the Adam Sandler song? Love stinks, yeah, yeah. From the wedding singer. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I think what really wins is hard work, determination, integrity, having strong habits. What wins is, is meeting other people, spreading useful ideas, being comfortable and open to change, right? I don't think love is the answer all the time. I really don't think so. In a perfect world, yes, love would win. Unfortunately, um, today, I'm sorry, man, but uh, I don't think that's it. So how does this relate to mental health? What I, uh, well, I told you, to take the pressure off yourself because a lot of us are so, we internalize problems. Right, we, we really do and we think that things are our fault. That, that in order for the world to be better or in order for the world to be better and we want to live in this perfect world, we feel like it's all on us. Now your happiness is your responsibility, I get that, but not other people's happiness. And not the progression of the world as we know it. That's not all on you. So take a breath. And think about, okay, what can I control? What can I tell myself that makes me feel better? What is my responsibility in my own happiness? 
okay, I don't have to love everyone, okay? Life sucks sometimes. I don't have to be positive all the time. Okay, that's good, that's good, okay? There isn't always an upside to depression. Okay, okay, that's okay. I'm feeling anxious. Is that a sign that the world is, is coming out to get me? No, no, you're anxious. That's okay. Do you need to love anxiety? No, you don't. That's okay. Someone cut you off. Do you need to say, oh, that person is, is going through a rough day and I love them anyway? No, no, that's okay. You can just say, ah, that's a d and you can move on. That's okay. We don't need to play the role of God. I'm sure not. And what's helped me a lot in my mental health and journey is to control as much as I can and do a better job of, of letting go. If you want to join our online community on Patreon for five easy dollars a month to talk more about this stuff and join our live streams and, uh, and have some fun and meet people from all over the world, well, the link's in the description if you want to try it out. And we have a great Discord group and we just have that chat going 24-7. I like talking about this stuff. I hope you like listening and I hope you like talking about it too. So let me know, does love win in the comments? Does love always win? What do you think? Look forward to hearing from you. See you on Discord and Patreon. Stay strong. Keep being you. And express yourself.